we had two major inquiry questions that we were looking at. One was, how can we help shift our students' perspective from despair and powerlessness to a sense of hope and empowerment? The second piece that we're really wrestling with is how can we work together, all of us, professional learners, not only within our own district and across our schools, but in those cross-district collaborations that we've been growing more and more to make the world a better place. Uh, Judy Halbert and Linda Kayser were a part of our August Pro-D Days, and they've been working with our district on building a culture of inquiry, uh, teacher inquiry, both in terms of Aboriginal education projects, network of innovation and inquiry, and our own district collaborative inquiry projects. So we decided that we wanted to really live that cross-district um, and, and those partnership pieces. So in addition to our own entire school staff, we also invited UBC WECTEP uh, students. So we had all the student teachers from the West Kootenai Teacher Education Program come and join us. To have our student teachers in the region learn and uh, observe what place conscious learning looks like in action and help inform our own direction as, as the staff within our district. We also really featured uh, cross-school collaborations within our own district. Of course, in our district, we have uh, a small number of schools, so that kind of cross-school collaboration is easy because everybody wants to jump on board and work together, uh, but also growing those cross-district collaborations, and that's been really, really interesting, vital work for us. We are a small, rural, geographically remote district, and it's nice for us to be able to partner with others, to grow our own professional learning capacity, to have our students make connections outside, and to really deepen the work. In all, there were 26 classrooms across, across BC, K to 12, because the feedback from our May pilot had been, not only could we do this from grade four to grade 12, we could select text that was engaging, authentic, and relevant, actually kindergarten to grade 12, and good text was good text. Grade 12s could look at picture books that were deep and thoughtful and find those essential pieces. Um, Students who were kindergarten students could find ways of expressing and demonstrating their learning in both classroom discussions and in uh, posting to forums in some kind of way. And so in all, 450 students were involved with that. We used um, Laura Tate uh, SD68's Aboriginal Understandings rubric to be able, that learning progression, to be able to see where students were at the beginning of their, um, their work in this progress and then also uh, assess where it is that they ended up.